What's up guys, Joey from Bulletproof for BJJ where we teach you how to get strong and mobile so you can perform at your best on the mats and in life. Uh, today I'm gonna be taking you guys through three simple hip stretches for tight jiu-jitsu players. So these are our big three lower body stretches that you can use if you are super tight. And the idea is that you would use these stretches on a daily basis, you would use them before you train and they're gonna enable you to access better movement when you're training so you get a better training session. Now obviously if you can, you do them after training as well because that's just gonna help you recover faster. The three stretches I'm gonna take you through, we're gonna be looking at a wall lunge, so that's a stretch for the hip flexors. We're gonna be looking at a frog stretch, which is for the inside aspect of the thigh. And then the last one we're gonna be looking at is the box stretch, which is for the lower back and glute piriformis kind of region. So let's get into the big three lower body stretches for tight BJJ players. So the wall lunge, we're talking about stretching the hip flexors here, the muscles running along the front of the hip. So the way I'm gonna set up for this is gonna be hands to the floor. I'm gonna place my knee on the ground. Now you notice I'm out around a foot distance from the wall with my knee, and then my, the ball of my foot to the wall. From here, I'm gonna to look to bring my front leg up into a lunge position, all right? If you cannot get into this lunge position, then I want you just to come away from the wall altogether, and you can just have your foot on the ground like this, and you'll come up into a lunge, all right? But assuming you can, we're just gonna make it a little bit tougher. So we've got knee in, foot from the wall, up into my lunge. Now here, I'm looking to squeeze my glute, and I'm keeping my knee, uh, my heel, my knee and my hip in one line, right? Now, if this feels fine, you're gonna bring yourself up into an upright position here. I'm trying to get some contraction in the glute, push that hip forward, and stay upright through the torso. If you feel fine with this, we can make this stretch more intense by taking the knee closer to the wall. Notice now I've got the top of my foot on the wall. Again, I'm keeping my hips square squeezing the glute, driving my hip forward, okay? Hands can rest here on the opposite knee. 60 to 90 seconds in this position, moving between a contraction of the glute and then a relaxation. 10 seconds contract and push, five seconds relax. Just cycling through that for 60 to 90 seconds. Frog stretch, so frog stretch, we're talking about stretching through the inner thighs. Now, this gets really important because when you're playing a lot of guard, you're building a lot of strength through these muscles on the inner thigh, uh, which is great, but you're also tightening them up. So we wanna have a stretch that we can fall back on on a daily basis that's gonna help to open the hips up, all right? So what we're looking at here, hands and knees, I'm bringing my knees out to around one and a half shoulder width, all right? You can play with exactly how far the distance is, but you'll be able to find a sweet spot for you. From here, I come down onto my elbows, and then I'm gonna drive my hips back, all right? Now, what's happening is as I drive the hips back, I'm bringing this big stretch in through the inner thigh. You can play around with sticking the butt out and driving the hips back, or tucking the pelvis. For the most part, you're gonna find a sweet spot there that allows you to really get into those tissues through the inner thigh. And then we're just breathing and hanging out in that position. 60 to 90 seconds here, one to two sets. Last stretch of the big three lower body stretches for tight jiu-jitsu players. We're gonna look at the box stretch here. So this is going for piriformis, glute, all this stuff through the lower back. Um, use whatever you have. You could use the, uh, the end of your couch, so the arm of your couch. You could use a table at home. You could use a bench at the academy or if you're at the gym, uh, maybe you've got a plyo box or something like that that you can use. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring my shin up and I'm gonna place that shin flat on the box. Now for some of you, if you're really tight, you're not gonna be able to get the shin down. The knee's gonna sit a bit elevated. If this is you, get some kind of pad or a thing that you can elevate and use to wedge under the knee. Uh, your gi rolled up is really good for this. A foam block or I've got these, this ab mat here, and I'm just gonna place that under that knee side so that I'm in a more comfortable position now. Now, important with this is that I keep my foot flexed, so I'm, I don't have a straight foot, I'm pulling my toes back towards my shin. And then all I wanna do from here is have my hands placed in front, 
I'm trying to stay long through my spine and I'm driving my hips back as I bend down. As soon as I do this, I get a nice big stretch going on through the glute here. Now, same deal as with all these stretches, I'm looking to hang out for 60 to 90 seconds. What you'll find when you're doing this one, depending on the height of the box, if it's too low, you'll be able to get into the stretch, but your standing leg will get fatigued. So you wanna try and get the box at the right height so that you can comfortably get into the stretch and just hang out. That's the big three lower body stretches for tight jiu-jitsu players. Use these stretches every day, one to two sets, 60 to 90 seconds in each position. And I guarantee you that if you can do this before you train, you will optimize your training sessions and increase your ability to perform better on the mats. Thanks guys.